girls purposely act annoying and are narcissistic in general is because they know most men aren't going to leave anyway. Facts. Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, you just got to listen. You got to explore your options, partner. You got to spread your wings, spread your tentacles. You got to, I mean, on my 007 octopusy stuff. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of girls get away with murder and do stupid shit because they know their man doesn't have the value to replace them. Mm. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let me ask this question real fast. You got a bombshell, right? Is it, it... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, I, I kind of said it before, but ladies, men don't care about your careers or your income. <laughs> and we actually have brought plenty of women on the show, actually. We actually had a, a Russian girl come on, attractive woman, 33 years old. And she was saying if she could do it all over again and go back in time, right? <laughs> She was saying that she would. Pref she wished she had searched and taken uh, a man seriously more and tried to get married and f have a family versus yeah. chasing her career, etc. And she lived the New York lifestyle in the city, had a business, had career. a business career, all that stuff. That's a lot to keep up with. You, you are here trying to be a man, and, and a lot of the men be tired of the stuff. They don't even want to keep up with it. Just to have someone that's more fragile and less headstrong, just imagine like, it's a lot to keep up with. Yeah. And now, 33 years old, she's like, damn, I wish I, like, went ahead and pursued uh, a family and children when I was younger. See, the, mm. the problem is, you work on a career, right? You're, you work on yourself. That's great. That's awesome. You're independent. Good job. Mm -hmm. Problem is, when you get older, you're by yourself, you're like, damn, who do I share this with? Hey, well, I never thought why, why they be saying, like, I need to find myself, um, find out what makes me happy. Why won't you just... You do, you act like you can't do that with someone that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. And you do this for the betterment of you when you could do that with someone that you're going to spend the rest of your life with and build a better game plan together because two heads are better than one. I have no kids, no real family. It's just me. That right there is depressing because now it's just you and money. And not only that, you've directly ostracized yourself from the very man that you want. Yeah. You make $300,000 a year. You're a boss, bitch. You got money. You got a business, all this other stuff. Well, guess what? Now you want a man that makes $300,000 per year. Well, we know that this guy is less than 1% of the population. So that guy is okay with dating an 18-year-old, a 19-year-old, a 20-year-old that works at Burger King. Facts. Meanwhile, you own Facts. the Burger King branch. So he will go ahead, <laughs> right? He'll go ahead and he'll date one of the receptionists over you. Why? Because the things that men are attracted to have nothing to do with income or stability. Yeah. You guys look for security. Mm -hmm. We don't. Mm -hmm. But girls falsely believe, I'm going to chase a career, chase a bag, make money. It's going to make me more attractive. It actually hurts you. This whole shit men really don't care about. Yeah, it's okay, but we don't really don't care about that. that. How you making money? Well, somewhat. We care how. Respectable ways. When make, men make money, doors open. When women make money, doors close. Mm. Because your ability to find the guy that you want goes down as you go up the social hierarchy. But our ability to find a woman goes up as we go up the social hierarchy. Mm -hmm. We're not the same. You want your equivalent or better? We'll gladly date our equivalent or below. Mm. Right. Okay. So yeah. knowing this, wouldn't it make sense to find a guy with that you're at, when you're at your prime and prioritize that over career because you can always chase a career after the pack? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you got it more than a man for real. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying, man. <laughs> but so here's the thing. Mainstream media will never tell you this. They'll lie to you and say, no, you guys can have it all. Go Freeze through. your eggs. Make your money now and, you know, your Prince Charming will be out there. I'll tell you guys right now. Multimillionaire, multimillionaire. All our friends are multimillionaires. Yo, none of them want old chicks. Yeah. Period. Hey, yo, I always wonder why he not talking about Chris. Chris is the producer. He should be making a bag. He should be investing his money. I never got, like, fathom that. Chris don't talk about better than himself. I, I wonder, Chris, what are you up to? What do you do with all your money, bro? Spending it recklessly? Oh, we need you to level up too, brother. How you feel about that?